Hi, my name's Ben and I'm going to show you how to make some fantastic mixed strings. I think it's something which is often overlooked when your friends come round for an evening. The first drink I'm going to make for you is a very simple spirited mixer called Vodka Russian. There are some basic guidelines to follow in making a mixed drink. Firstly, always use the best ingredients. Secondly, choose a nice clean glass, preferably something over 12 ounces. Fill it all the way to the top with ice. I'm going to use a shot glass to measure a 50ml measure for my vodka. Make sure your mix is fresh. If it's been sitting in the fridge for the last two weeks, it's not going to give you the carbonation you want. The great thing about Russian is it's just perfect with vodka. And thirdly, a nice fresh garnish. I'm going to top and tail my limes to create a wedge. Then I'm going to squeeze my wedge over the surface of the drink and gently edge the outside of the glass. And there we have the perfect spirit and mixer, Vodka Russian. So the second drink I'm going to make for you is called a Game on Ginger, and the same rules apply. Nice, clean, fresh glass, fill it all the way to the top with ice. And this one is a lovely mixture of cognac. We're going to use a full measure of cognac for this. And we're going to sweeten that with some Cointreau. All liqueurs have to be sweet. And in an attempt to balance that out, we're going to take some fresh limes, chop these limes into quarters, topping and tailing. I'm going to squeeze all four of my limes into my glass and drop them in. And the final component here is taking the Canada Dry, and this adds a, an oddly warming effect, despite the fact it's full of ice. I'm going to give it a nice stir as well, just to marry all the flavours around. And there we have it, game on ginger. So the third drink I'm going to make is a drink called the Almond Affair. Now this one's a little bit more technical to create. This is what we call a three-piece shaker. You can pretty much pick one up on any high street in the country. What we're going to do is add some amaretto, some almond liqueur, and use half a shot. And then I'm going to add some Campari, a bitter. It's got that bitter taste to it. And I'm just going to add the smallest dash. Now, if you like that dry bitterness, you can add a little bit more. It's up to you. Now, because we've got the sweetness in the amaretto, we need to sour that off again. And some of the basic rules of cocktail making using lemon. And again, relative to your own personal taste, you can use more or less lemon. I like my drinks to be quite tart, so I'm going to add two squeezes of lemon. And here's the fun bit. Take my shaker and fill it full of ice. Give it a short, sharp shake. Fill our glass all the way to the top with ice and strain our mixture into the glass itself. You can see now that as I'm filling up my glass, almost 60% of that drink is going to be your mixture. So make sure you do buy the best and top up with Indian tonic water. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to zest this drink with some orange. I'm going to use a potato peeler, very, very simple. Just run the potato peeler down the length of the orange. And this is the fun bit. I'm going to zest this face down over the surface of the drink so we get that beautiful oils from the skin of the orange and I'm going to edge the glass. I'm also going to make sure the drink is mixed perfectly by giving it a good stir. And there we have it, the almond affair. You've seen how easy it is to make, it's almost effortless. I guarantee your friends are going to love it.